Okay, so real quick guys, I just wanna talk about what the black pill, the purple pill, the blue pill, and obviously the red pill is. Okay, because there seems to be a lot of confusion and I'm hoping I can clear up some of the uh, confusion here. So basically, let's start with the red pill. Obviously, we all know what the red pill is. Red pill is basically the awareness that you come to when you realize that all of the Disney fantasies and all of those ideas and values from the uh, blue pill matrix are a complete lie or complete BS, right? That is basically what the red pill is. Red pill mirrors reality, what the world actually is versus what you want it to be or how you expect it to be, which brings me to the blue pill. Okay, the blue pill is basically you wanting to see the world a certain way, you expecting the world to be a certain way and to respond to you a certain way when it does not. And you'll notice that a lot of uh, leftists, a lot of SJWs, a lot of you know, like beta cucks and guys like that tend to be blue pill, right? So much so that they will completely defend the blue pill matrix because they're so embedded and so indoctrinated by those ideas that they can't function otherwise without them. It's like their lives wouldn't make sense if they were to let go of those old blue pill falsehoods, right? So they cling on to the uh, blue pill matrix with their lives. You know, some so much so that once they realize that it is bullshit, they go ahead and kill themselves. They commit suicide, they put a gun in their mouths or they hang themselves. And I've done a coaching video on this not too long ago entitled only blue pill men kill themselves only blue pill men commit suicide and you'll see overwhelmingly that most guys who do off themselves tend to be blue pill right they tend to be not to get political but leftists they tend to be sjw's they tend to be those type of guys that have spent their lives defending that blue pill matrix and defending those old blue pill ideologies to the death right and once they realize they can't fulfill them, that is when those guys decide to end their lives, right? So that is the blue pill in a nutshell. Now, the black pill, which some of you are familiar with, some of you may not be familiar with, the black pill is basically the center between going from blue pill to red pill. So a lot of guys will end up going black pill. You might've heard this before where guys give up completely, okay? And again, the black pill comes from guys kind of getting stuck in the middle of the blue pill and transforming all the way to red pill. So they're basically just losing hope completely. They're just giving up. For example, with girls, they're like, these girls are all hypergamous anyway. They're always gonna search for the BBD, the bigger, better deal. Why even bother? Why even bother with these bitches? Screw them. I don't want anything to do with them. And then they get a case of give up itis. They just give up completely. They go what we call black pill. They're like, I'm not even going to try. Okay. These are guys who, again, they get stuck between transforming from blue pill to red pill. Okay. They get stuck in the middle. And the thing you have to understand about the red pill is you really can't go backwards. You can't unsee what you've seen. Okay, the red pill is a one-way street. You can't put the toothpaste back in the bottle, so to speak. And you need to give yourself time to adapt to your new red pill awareness and creating a new red pill lifestyle that you could live with, right? There's not gonna be any good that comes from you giving up completely and just throwing in the towel in life. Okay, that's not what the red pill is meant to do. It's not meant to destroy you or just completely ruin your life to the point where you don't want to do anything. That's not what the red pill for. The red pill is for. The red pill is for growing as a man, becoming better, becoming stronger, becoming more knowledgeable. That's what the red pill is for. It's not so you can take it and use it as an excuse to just give up on life and do nothing. Okay, like I said, you need to give yourself time to adapt to your new red pill awareness and creating a new red pill paradigm that reflects reality and that you can be happy with. Okay, so it takes time. 
Now, what is the purple pill? Now, the purple pill is basically the belief that you can still live out those old blue pill idealisms and that old blue pill lifestyle with red pill awareness. Thinking you can use your new red pill awareness to make your old blue pill beliefs and Disney fantasies come true. And you can't, you know, it's like you thinking that you're gonna find uh, that unicorn of a woman out there who is going to love you unconditionally, who is not gonna shit test you, who is going to just love you for who you are without you needing to bring any value to the table. Unfortunately, that is not reflectant of reality either. But a lot of guys figure like, hey, I've got this powerful, you know, red pill awareness. Man, dude, now I could really make that old blue pill fantasy come true and I'm gonna be able to find that unicorn out there and she's gonna love me for life because I got this super powerful uh, red pill awareness. And sadly, most guys' point of reference is their old blue pill conditioning because they know nothing else. So they constantly tend to revert back to that those old blue pill values and they constantly try to fulfill those. Even now that they have red pill awareness, they, they constantly keep reverting back to those old blue pill values that they know deep down in, in their hearts is a lie. And you know, you really can't blame these guys because again, this is all they've known their entire lives. This is all they've been taught their entire lives for, by the feminine imperative, by the blue pill matrix. Okay, we all were. And when you're suddenly hit with the realization of what female nature truly is and how life really is, for a lot of guys, it's just too much to handle all at once. This is why you need to give yourself time to adapt and go through the learning curve of what's real and what's not real, what's possible and what's not possible. And you just have to give yourself an adequate amount of time to adapt to that new red pill paradigm without giving up completely where you go black pill and without banging your head up against a wall trying to make your old blue pill fantasies come true with red pill awareness, which is basically going uh, purple pill. Okay, you have to understand what's possible and what's not possible. You can never turn women into something that you want them to be that they're not capable of. Okay, you cannot make the world operate in a way that you yourself are comfortable with that does not reflect reality. You have to accept things for how they are. Whether it be women, the world, as well as your own life. Okay, you are not God. All you can do as a man is play the game. Okay, obviously you could choose to not play the game, go black pill, or play the game trying to win a prize that is not winnable, go on purple pill, or you could just accept the game for what it is and play it based on those rules, which is red pill. Okay, for example, when it comes to dating and women, just accept them for who they are, what their true nature is, what they're capable of, what they're not capable of, and enjoy them anyway, knowing that they can never be what you want and then making your decisions from there. I get a lot of guys who want to get married one day, have a family, have kids. And I tell them, it's not like you can't do that. You can, even as a red pill man, you can do that. But just be aware that the second you stop providing the value, she's probably going to start looking elsewhere. The second you start kowtowing to her and being weak, that is when she is going to start shit testing you the hardest and really questioning whether or not she should stay with you. You know, it's all anti-advice. It's all anti-education from what the blue pill matrix taught us growing up, right? The blue pill matrix taught us that in order for a girl to like you, you have to be nice to her. You have to bring her flowers. You have to tell her she's pretty. You have to buy her candy. You have to show up on time to your dates. You have to buy her gifts. You know, and me as a as a pickup artist, being out there as long as I have, you know, all my experiences, you know, all my experiences that red pilled me with women, everything is the opposite of what you've been told. You know, in one of my programs, the 33 Secrets, one of the major secrets I tell guys is, you know, for your first couple of dates, don't show up on time. Be 10, 15 minutes late. Make her wait there at the bar for you. 
let her get her own drink. Not only will you save money, but you'll make her value you in the in return. Okay, you'll save money because she's obviously going to open a tab for herself. The last thing you should do is show up early, show, show up five minutes early before she gets there or show up right on time because she won't value you. She'll be like, okay, is this another sucker that I've got under my thumb? As opposed to you being late, you showing her that she's not such a priority, she will value you more. She'll be like, okay, maybe this guy has other women. He's just used to going on dates where he doesn't need to show up on time anymore. He doesn't need to uh, value me as much as a guy who is not getting laid. Okay, because guys who are incels, guys who don't get laid, those guys will show up right on time. They'll be there for the date early. They'll call you five times that day to confirm. They'll show up with flowers, candy. They'll sit there for your entire date telling you how pretty you are and how lucky they are to be there in your presence. And as a result, you will lose all attraction for them. If you're a woman watching this, you will lose all attraction for them. You will get dry down there and you will probably not want to see this guy again because you'll feel like you've already conquered him. Like, okay, next. Because it's not part of your DNA, your evolutionary programming to be attracted to men who give themselves up so easily. Everybody likes a chase, especially women. Okay, because they're not used to seeing men do it, especially if they're good looking. They're not used to seeing men put them on hold or not pedestalize them. Okay, but these are all things you learn from going red pill. So in a nutshell, that is what the red pill, the blue pill, the black pill, and the purple pill are. Okay, the red pill reflects reality. The blue pill reflects fantasy. The black pill reflects giving up completely once you go red pill, just deciding like, hey, none of this is worth it. I don't wanna do anything, I give up. That's black pill. And purple pill is trying to make your old blue pill idealisms and blue pill goals and dreams a reality with your red pill awareness. Okay, just because you have this red pill awareness does not turn you into God. It does not give you uh, a superpower to change how, you know, an entire gender of females are biologically programmed to work okay you do not have that power but trying to do so you will bang your head up up against a wall you will get frustrated you will get angry you'll get what's called red pill rage right red pill rage is just not wanting to accept that and still trying to make those old blue pill fantasies come true essentially that's what the purple pill is okay so i hope i've helped clarify the different shades of pills that you'll hear about in the Manosphere, in the Red Pill community. I'm gonna wrap up here. Until next time, this is Matt Cross. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also, hit that notification bell up top so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video. More importantly, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's very important you guys subscribe. It tells YouTube that you are loving my content, you're digging it, you're feeling all this red pill knowledge and you want me to produce more of it. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. And for you guys who want to support my channel and my content and everything I'm teaching you guys here even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium alpha male content channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. The reason why I'm doing that is because I no longer trust YouTube to not suddenly demonetize all my videos or suddenly deplatform me one day just because they're offended by all of this Red Bill content and knowledge that I'm teaching you guys. Okay, so I'm hosting my premium alpha male content channel on a private platform away from YouTube and the first month is only a buck, so it's only a dollar for the entire first month of coaching lessons. So if you want to become a premium subscriber, that is the absolute best way to support my work. Again, it's only a buck, and all you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now, and I will see you in my next coaching video. Okay, who's snoring? Cash is snoring. All you guys keep asking, who's snoring? There he goes, there's my, my pup, half asleep.